Changes, Naruto, by Drake. Naruto was at the academy very early, excited for the test they'd put him in his Ganin squad. Everyone else showed up half an hour later. Kara did too and waved excitedly at Naruto, but he didn't even look at her. Sasuke showed up last. A loose-fitting white shirt and a purple jacket hung around his waist. What's up, Sasuke? Sasuke waved at Naruto, as he said by his friend. So, exactly what are you going to show? Naruto grinned. A lot. I'm going to scare people. I think we should go out all out for at least taijutsu. Sasuke nodded. Should be fun. All right, class. Today, the Hakage and his wife will be watching the exams to know who should be placed in what team. Show them the proper respect they deserve, Araka sensei called out. The class nodded, except Naruto, who simply scoffed. First is the written. When I pass your papers out, complete them without talking and turn them back facing down. Araka t- sensei told us. That was a boring 20 minutes. The only question Naruto couldn't remember was the, was the Naidami Takage's name. He shrugged. 9 out of 10 is good enough. Next up is Taijutsu. One at a time, I'll call you up for a fight with myself. Well, I'll judge your skills with Taijutsu. Naruto stopped paying attention. Only seeing three kids besides himself and Sasuke that were worth anything. They were Neji, Tintin, and Lee Rock. Kara Nuzumaki, Araka called out. Now Naruto focused on the fight intensely. He may be angry with him, but she was his sister. She shot forward quickly, throwing punches and kicks that Araka looked impressed by. She was faster than the three before, but she lacked physical strength. He spun on her heel, aiming a spinning kick towards Araka's head. He caught her ankle and pushed her back, making her lose balance and fall. Very good, Kara. I see you've been practicing. You got a perfect score. Araka said as he helped her up. Next up, Naruto Nuzumaki. Naruto stood, noticing angrily that his parents weren't even paying attention because they were too busy doting over Kara. Araka sensei, what happens if we beat you? Naruto asked, still staring at his parents. Araka laughed. <laughs> Don't assume you'll win. I'm a tune-in and you're still in the academy. Landing a single hit on me will be impressive. Naruto turned his eyes to his teacher. You didn't answer my question. Araka looked mad. All right, I'll give you a bonus 50 points on your final grade. Begin. I didn't take a stance or anything. I remained calm, mirroring the way Ichi likes to fight. Then Araka threw a punch that I moved my head just enough to dodge. He tried again, but I spun at speeds he couldn't follow and placed my hands on the ground, kicking him in the chin. The blow disoriented him, so I jumped up and drop kicked his chest, sending him tumbling out of the ring. The class went deadly quiet. Mineto and Kurishima were staring at Naruto with wide eyes. Mineto Khan, I thought you said you couldn't chain him. Mineto replied slowly, but I, I didn't. But I want to know who the hell had the gall to teach my son without my permission. Naruto heard this and was seething under his calm exterior. Well, Hokage-sama, I thought that if you didn't want to be around me, I'll find people who do, and they helped me with my training. I feel, though, that you're not mad someone trained me. You're mad that someone trained me better than you and your sensei trained Kara. Then Naruto went and sat back down. Minato grilled. Mineto glared angrily at his son, but said nothing. He should be proud of how powerful Naruto became, but Naruto was right. He was pissed that someone trained Kara's trend better than he trained Kara. Kara walked over to the Naruto. That was incredible, Naruto-kan. If you want, we could train later and you could help me with my taijutsu, and I'll help you with your ninjutsu. Naruto grinned angrily. You don't even speak to me for months, and now you do? You're only talking to me because you think I can help you become stronger than you are now. Sorry, but I refuse to be used by you or anybody else, so piss off. 
Naruto, do not talk to your sister like that, Mineta yelled at him. Naruto glared. Yes, Okage-sama. You missed Sasuke's vibe, by the way. Mineta looked over. Sasuke had left Uraraka in a crumpled heap on the floor, almost completely silent and quickly. Two Janine, able to completely demolish a season tuning. It's pretty incredible, Tenzin, the assistant tuning instructor, said. Mineta from behind. Mineta nodded. He could give them that. Next up is ninjutsu. Perform transformation substitutions and clones for extra credit. You can do a jinjutsu you practiced on your own. Araka said, just now having stood up. When it came to care, Mineta looked at Araka. She has a medical condition that prevents her from doing regular clones. She will be doing another type. Araka nodded. It was special treatment, but he couldn't argue with the Hokage. She did the first two easily, then created ten shadow clones. She held her hands together and created a wobbly blue ball of sh- chakra with Shingon. She called out proudly. Naruto nearly laughed at her pathetic Shingon. It looks like it'd fall apart if a light breeze hit it. Very good, Kara. 105, perfect score. Next up, Naruto Nuzumaki. Unlike her sister, Naruto did the jutsus normally, not bothering to show off his ninjutsu to his father. Sasuke did the three, plus a fire-style grand fireball. The rookie of the year ended up being Sasuke, then Naruto, then Kara. End of chapter four.